just want to say before anything else, this video goes out to David Romero Sr., David's dad. You made such a fine dude. And I know that you'd be very proud to see what David's gotten. Especially meeting a rock star for the very first time. I know you'd be proud because you were a rock star dad. West in paradise, dude. Guys, this is a special edition of the Thrift Store Rundown, a bleeding Hollywood home on a budget. We're on the way to Bookends in Ridgewood. Because today, as you know, marks the first anniversary of the person who's operating this vehicle, David Romero, DMN81, meeting a rock star. That would be Steve Gorman of the Black Quills. Yep, and he has this book, Hard to Handle, The Life and Death of the Back Clothes, a memoir. So we're on our way to basically, I guess, relive some of those happy memories that David gained. Of course, I posted separately a review of the book, Hard to Handle, of course, there's the covenant autograph, Yo, David! Uh, David did a very nice job doing the review, and that will be posted separately. Link is down my below channel. if you want to check that out. On my channel. Uh, my page, but on David's channel, uh, will share another recollection of his experience meeting Steve. Oh, there it is! Red, white, and blue! Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yes! That store is the bomb. The bomb. And as we were just talking about before we began shooting, it's right near the Home Depot and... Yeah, there's another one for sake though, I'm telling you, I'm new to his store. This really? is Hawthorne. There's another one for sake. The same thing. But this Did is we the... just cross over to Hawthorne? This is Hawthorne. Oh my. The one for sake I'm talking about. Boy, you must know a lot about this state more than I do. Yeah, now I know, because I've been going anywhere. Well, we can both agree on one thing. We have a mutual love for bookends because we both met um, celebrities over there and got books signed by them. David's experience is up first. As you can see, I got my mask on, and I wanted David to be the one to tell you about his experience meeting Steve Gorman, but he already did on his channel, so he insisted that I be the one to tell you what happened one year ago today. Um, as soon as Steve Gorman walked down those stairs, on the inside to the lower level, where the meeting area is, uh, everybody was instructed to applaud. And then for an hour, Steve took some questions from fans. In did you ask the question? No, um, no, he didn't um, ask the question. But after that hour long QA, uh, then the book society began. And as you know, um, in that aspect, David was extremely successful. Yo, David! And with Steve's um, autograph. So, as you can see, bookends definitely looks a little different. Um, the hours are different Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, there will be no in person events inside this establishment for a long time to come in the wake of COVID-19 and all this pandemic crap. Instead, they have virtual events, and there are four of them which I want you to take a look at. So, virtual event one, September 28th, the Steve and Kathy can see Fox and Friends with their Happy in a Hurry cookbook, um, 6 p.m. via Zoom. Um, all these events are going to be taking place via Zoom. Um, on the 29th, following that event, we have the Street Profits, former Wall Tag Team Champions, WWE Tag Team Superstars, holding a virtual event for the new and improved WWE Encyclopedia. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a butterfly in the way. Ay, ay, ay. I hate butterflies. <clears throat> October 6th at 7 p.m., uh, the virtual event with the infamous Perez Hilton. You should know who Perez Hilton is, because I definitely don't. And on the 15th, we have Rosie Mercado with her book, The Girl with the Self-Esteem Issues, a memoir. Um, 
And with the exception of Perez Hilton, all the events take place at 6 o'clock pronto. Perez starts at 7. Again, they're all via Zoom. Uh, it's a nice looking display here. We got some Lego stuff, kids books. We got some sports books over here from Lou Piniella, David Cohn, uh, Derek Rose, Errol Monroe. Got some diary of looking kids stuff. So, definitely uh, looks different outside. Of course, I would tell you what it looks like inside, but for the most part, Looks the same. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a petri glass barrier inside to uh, separate the customers from their employees and, you know, to further stop the spread of the virus. But as you know, you can't film inside. I did film discreetly to show you what it looked like inside uh, after the fact, after I met Sasa. But again, this is about David's journey uh, to meeting Steve Gorman, meeting a rock musician for the first time. I'm incredibly proud of this guy. Um, Check out the review. It's in the description below. It will be linked. Uh, of course, if you want to buy a book at Bookends, just know there's not going to be any in-person sightings. But 211 East Richmond Avenue in Richmond Town Center. And look at that. After the fact, after the hell selection, pre-order the new book, A Promised Land, by President Obama, former President Barack Obama, the 17th of November. The good old days. I have his wife's book, by the way, American Grown. One of his wife's books by Michelle Obama uh, for our Back to School series. Uh, it's a riff on the PBS series, A Place of Our Own. Uh, check that out. The playlist is below. See you later, bookends. Two weeks time, hopefully. So now I'm on the way to the TikTok diner to celebrate. I wanted it to be originally in Ridgewood, uh, keeping it local, but David insisted we go to TikTok. Besides, we haven't been there in a while. Tell me you do not want to Instagram this chicken quesadilla with extra chicken, salsa, sour cream, and guacamole. And of course, David's classic Mick Jagger sandwich. And of course, my chicken quesadilla, which I never had before, comes with extra chicken, which I specified them to add. Oh, he's doing the white thing, which is to Instagram all of this. Taylor ham, egg, disco fries, and cheese, hip and disco fries, melted cheese and brown gravy. Yum. And I got three cheeses and my chicken quesadilla. Oh, that wasn't enough. You want a little piece? No, thanks. No? I will try a little piece, but it's fine. A little piece of your quesadilla, that is. But I'll give it the fries. No, thanks. Alright, uh, friends, fine. I'll have that next time. Probably, it's probably good. I don't take my fries with gravy or cheese. Alright, uh, but it's fine. I'll try that next time. It's, good. it's probably good. But for now, try my usual. Yeah. Toast to one year of me meeting the rock star. Yes, indeed. I'm holding the camera right now, so. Can't really do that at the moment, but. Of course, after you meet a rock star, you kind of have a rocking celebratory meal. Yep. I don't know where to start on this thing. I don't know if I had a case here before, ever. But this looks so good. It's gonna burn my mouth, but I'm ready for it. How is it? Booyah! It's awesome. Mix a little bit of the Glock. A little bit more. Probably tastes good with this. But you don't want it, right? 
Nah, give me a little bit of sour cream too. This might be good. Yeah, it might be, but. All right. And that's what's left of it. So divinely delicious. And David, well, the way it took his plate already. He gobbled the whole thing up. Although he said he will get something different next time. Like that case that he or something else. So good. And excuse me. Extremely delicious. And so now we're heading back home. It's been one wonderful experience remembering all these great memories for David. Of course, uh, I don't think he can hear because he has the AC on, which I need, because I don't want to get car sick. But that's it. So, in two weeks' time, we'll be back at Bookends. It will be my turn to remember all the glorious memories meeting Sasa from Forty Little Liars and Sasa in good taste. Yes. Thank you for joining David and I, and we will catch you on the flip side. Good day. Say it louder. Good day. There you go.